In the unforgiving realm of military aviation, time is a relentless adversary. A split second can determine the success of a mission or spell catastrophe. Recently, that reality played out in dramatic fashion at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, where a United States Air Force B-2 Spirit stealth bomber was forced into an emergency takeoff under tense and unpredictable conditions. What began as a routine procedure swiftly escalated into a high-stakes scenario that tested both the limits of aviation technology and the expertise of its crew. This incident, though resolved without casualties, sent ripples through the global defense community. When an aircraft as sophisticated and as rare as the B-2 Spirit is involved in an emergency, people pay attention. Analysts, military observers, aviation enthusiasts, and even foreign governments want to know what went wrong, how serious was it, and what does it mean for the U.S. Air Force's ability to project power across the globe. To fully understand the weight of such an incident, one must first appreciate the mystique and significance of the B-2 Spirit itself. The B-2 isn't just another bomber. It's a technological icon, a feat of aeronautical engineering that embodies decades of innovation, secrecy, and strategic ambition. First conceived during the Cold War era, when tensions between superpowers drove rapid advancements in military capability, the B-2 was designed by Northrop Grumman with one mission in mind, to fly undetected into the heart of enemy territory and deliver devastating precision strikes. Its maiden flight in 1989 marked a turning point in aviation history. By the time it entered full service in 1997, the B-2 had already redefined what was possible in terms of stealth, range, and payload. Its unique flying wing design, devoid of a traditional tail or fuselage, makes it nearly invisible to radar. Combined with radar-absorbing materials, advanced composites, and highly classified avionics, the B-2 can silently cruise through contested airspace that would be deadly for conventional aircraft. But this level of sophistication comes with a price. Each B-2 costs approximately $2.1 billion, making it one of the most expensive aircraft ever built. Only 21 were ever produced, and today fewer than that remain operational. Each one is a national asset, guarded, maintained, and operated with the utmost care. So when something goes wrong, as it did recently, the consequences are not just technical, they're strategic. According to early reports, the emergency takeoff at Whiteman Air Force Base occurred during difficult weather conditions. Strong winds whipped across the airfield, and visibility was severely reduced by low-hanging clouds. It was in this already precarious environment that the aircraft encountered a suspected malfunction in its flight control system. The exact details remain under investigation, but what is known is that the B-2, unable to hold its position on the runway, was forced to initiate an unscheduled, full-speed takeoff. In moments like these, training takes over. The pilot, fully aware of the stakes, not only for the safety of the crew but for the integrity of the aircraft, acted decisively, maneuvering a 172-foot-wide flying wing off the ground under emergency conditions is no small feat, but thanks to the quick judgment and skill of the aircrew, the aircraft was safely airborne within moments. The ground team, equally prepared, secured the runway and launched an immediate response protocol. No injuries were reported, and the aircraft reportedly returned safely after the emergency. Still, questions linger, how could such a critical system fail? Could this have been prevented? And perhaps more importantly, what does this tell us about the current state of B-2 readiness? While the US Air Force was quick to release a statement assuring that the fleet remains fully mission capable, the event has ignited broader discussions about the reliability of aging stealth technology and the unique challenges of maintaining such high-performance machines. The B-2 is now over 30 years old. Though still highly capable, its age brings with it a growing list of logistical and technical demands. Incidents like this aren't entirely unprecedented. The B-2 has faced other emergencies over the years, some more serious than others. A few years ago, another spirit experienced an emergency landing that resulted in substantial damage. While rare, these events serve as stark reminders that even the most advanced aircraft are not immune to risk.
News of the emergency quickly spread to major international media outlets, including CNN, BBC, and Defense News. Analysts speculated on potential causes, debated whether this could impact future missions, and explored the implications for broader U.S. air strategy. Some noted that the Air Force's heavy reliance on a small fleet of ultra-expensive stealth bombers makes any operational hiccup far more consequential than it would be with a conventional aircraft. Others pointed out that this incident underscores the delicate balance between technological superiority and operational sustainability. The B-2 is brilliant by design, but it's also incredibly complex. Every flight requires meticulous preparation. Every system, from avionics to hydraulics, must operate in perfect harmony. Any deviation can cascade into crisis. Despite this, the B-2 remains irreplaceable, for now. Its ability to launch long-range missions undetected gives the United States a unique strategic edge. And while the upcoming B-21 Raider is poised to eventually succeed the Spirit, it will be years before it can fully take over the mantle. For the moment, the Air Force continues to rely on the B-2 to carry out its most sensitive high-value missions. And that means that every takeoff, every landing, and every technical report matters. The recent emergency serves as both a wake-up call and a testament. A wake-up call that even elite technology must be constantly scrutinized and upgraded, and a testament to the skill, training, and readiness of the people who fly and maintain these aircraft. Incidents like this don't just impact a base in Missouri, they ripple across the globe. They affect deterrence. They influence strategy. And they remind us that behind every powerful machine is a team of professionals working tirelessly to keep it in the air. What are your thoughts on this emergency? Does it highlight a deeper issue with reliance on stealth tech? Or is it simply a reminder of the risks inherent in aviation? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoy staying up to date on military aviation, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more stories from the front lines of technology and defense.